Okay, hello everyone. Uh, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the, the GX24 with the Opus uh, facility which it has, which is the optical alignment system. And what that will do is it will recognise where an image is that's already been printed out onto card and it can then score it and cut it in the right position. Um, now this is a, a, a very simple uh, decision die that we do in year seven and eight just to introduce the pupils to the to the system where they design the net uh, they color code it correctly um, they put various activities on the die uh, and it just gives them an opportunity to experience uh, using the OPA system which is optical alignment system so if we can uh, just have a look at the screen we've got our net here that's been been drawn uh, we've got the graphics in the center here and we've got the the mark uh, the score and the cut lines around the edge. Now what I've done is I've put the, the graphics image on a separate layer to the cut and the score lines. So the first thing I need to do is to print out this image on the, uh, the laser printer um, but I don't want to print out the, the score and the cut lines so I'm going to go up to layer and I'm going to um, remove the score and the cut line so I've just got my image. So now I'm ready to print that out but before I do I just need to print out some registration marks on there. So if I go to setup, drawing, layout, make sure the drop down menu is on the particular machine that you're using, in this case the GX24. Click on use registration marks and there you'll see it's actually put on our registration marks which will be printed out on the, the card. So file print, I'm not going to do this because I've already done one, so I would print that out, I would change that to our uh, laser printer, print that out and then you would get this here which has been printed out. So we've got our image here okay, with the three registration marks. So now what we need to do is we need to get the drawing ready to do the scoring and the cutting. So if I go up to, to layer, uh, click on cut and score, make it current and visible, go to the graphics layer and uncheck the visible to make it invisible, press OK and you can see there we've got our red score lines and our blue cut lines. I've also put up here some settings. Now I've been playing around with it earlier before um, this tutorial video and I found out that the best score was 50 and the best cut was uh, 275. That's the, that's the pressure. So just as good practice, I've drawn that on the, or written it on the screen, done it in pink so the machine won't recognize it. And for future reference, when I open this drawing again, if I need to do it again, then I know that they are the settings. So now we're ready to put our card into the knife cutter. Now when we make stickers on here, we normally cut through the sticker, but we don't cut through the, the backing paper underneath. So the, the knife will not go through onto the bed strip. However, on here, the knife will go all the way through. So we need another layer under here to protect the bed strip on the machine from the knife cutting it. So there are two options here. You can either get another piece of card, just put them together, piece of masking tape, put them in place, just to hold it all together. Or the other option, if you're doing lots and lots of these and you've got a bit of a production line going in your class, if you get a piece of polypropylene, okay, um, if you haven't got any in stock, if you get an old flip file uh, and just cut off the, the back page, which is polypropylene, you can use that. With some spray mount, uh, just spray a coating of spray mount onto your polypropylene and that just makes it tacky. And what you can do then is, you can just, when the pupil's ready, just pop that on. Okay, and that will hold it just strong enough so that it doesn't slip. Uh, when you do your cutting out and then just peel it off okay, and then put the next pupils on. That works really, really quite well. So now we're ready to score and cut. So I'm going to pop my net into the machine. Make sure the rollers are underneath the white strips. Lever at the back, clamp the rollers down and now we're ready to go. 
So if we go over to the, uh, the computer again, it's file, CNC output. We're on GX24, which is good. Go to tools. Now at the moment we're on cut lines only. Now I want to cut and score, so I click on both. You need to make sure that it does, does it in the right order because you've got the right colours in because we want it to score before we cut. If it cuts it first, then when it does the scoring, it will just fire your, your net off somewhere. So you need to get it to do the score first. So all my drawing, it was uh, scoring in red, so that's right. I don't need to change the colour. And cut in blue. Force is 50 uh, for the score and for the cutting it was 250. Uh, and now we're ready to go. So I'm going to press OK. Now when I press output, what's going to happen is... Uh, it's going to come across, the head's going to come across and it's going to try and locate the three registration marks. Now at the moment it doesn't know where the image is on the card, but as soon as it finds the registration marks it will know where the image is in relation to those, so uh, it will then know exactly where to do the cutting and the scoring. So I'm going to click on output, just press enter, the head will come across, you'll see the red light come on, the red beam as it tries to find the registration marks. That's the second one found. Off to the third. Gets the scoring. Now it's going to do the cutting. Okay, push the lever back. Now that has done it very well. Hasn't cut all the way through, which is good. My score lines are perfect. So I can bend the tabs round for gluing. <coughs> okay, and there is our net ready to glue together. So that's the OPA system on the knife cutter, that's the optical alignment system um, and that concludes this tutorial. Thank you very much.